So can I go ahead and just, you know, leave like this? Is this good enough? Hey everyone, welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, my name is Natasha. And of course, if you read today's title, you would know today is my birthday. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready video with you guys. So you guys can kind of see how I'm looking on my birthday. I wanted to show off my outfit that I did get from Pretty Young Things, or I'm sorry, Pretty Young Things. Okay, <laughs> Pretty Little Things and I don't know, I've never worn brown, or actually I've never worn like anything outside of black on my birthday, you know, cause black makes you look a little more slimming. So I'm going out of my comfort zone by one, wearing a wig, by two, wearing brown. But I think this color is just super sexy and I really, really like this. So I am happy. The two girlfriends that I usually go out with on my birthday, we've been celebrating my birthday together since I was 22. We'll go to like a fancy dinner and then I'm ready to hit the club. <laughs> I like to dance off all that liquor. <laughs> so that's what we're doing tonight. We're just going to a really fancy restaurant. So I'm gonna walk in there like, hey, it's my birthday. <laughs> They're like, girl, go have a seat. If you guys wanna see how I got this fabulous wig to curl and this beautiful beat makeup look, please keep watching. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So we are gonna start with hair first since I do have to curl my synthetic wig. And so it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Now this is Tootsie Cutie. She is in the shade Cherry. She's so beautiful. I did get this wig from GleeMade.com. Now if you're not aware of GleeMade.com, if you follow me on Instagram, I follow Jess the Dragon and she has like multiple businesses she's amazing but she did come out with a wig line let me tell you these wigs are bomb and it's always good when you can curl synthetic wigs i did have to do my brows because my brows are black but since i am wearing a cherry colored wig or like a burgundy shade wig i wanted to make sure my brows like match it looked really good I'm a brush right now and getting some of my baby hairs out, just getting them ready. Now I do have my wig cap right here. I'm gonna put that on. So the lace is already cut. You do get two clips in the front as well as a clip in the back. And then you can also tighten this wig, which I did. So let me put my wig on. This is my birthday wig. <laughs> Okay, that's a temp one. I'm only struggling because I'm on camera. Uh, oh yeah. So one thing about me, I don't like to try anything new, like especially like for my birthday, because if it doesn't work out and I go out with like a messed up wig, I'm not gonna be too happy on my birthday. So I'm happy that I was able to like wear this wig and actually enjoy it and style it to my preference. Right now I am just grabbing some contour powder because we are gonna need to place this on my hairline just so it looks a little more natural. And of course it will look better once I do the baby hair. It won't look so much like a wig. And you guys already know with wigs, I do not glue them down. Look how full the wig is. I am gonna make some adjustments so it just fits me better. So one thing I'm gonna do, I am gonna cut this wig a little bit shorter and I should have cut it while it was straight, but yeah, no. So right now, I'm probably gonna cut off probably like right here, like an inch. Just doing the same to the other side. Like I said, I'm just not used to wearing wigs yet, so this is how I feel comfortable is by wearing like my wigs a little bit shorter. And this is like a lot of hair I'm cutting through. <laughs> okay. Yes. So now I'm gonna have to 
cut just a little bit in the front. And this is like a quick cut. Like normally I would spend more time on this haircut, but this is super quick. Every time I start filming, somebody just starts playing super loud music. I'm like, they just know my filming schedule. I'm gonna start the process of doing my baby hair. I am using my Eco Style. This is the Argan Gel. I know everybody says it's really bad for you, but let me know of a gel that's really good. I haven't found anything better than this, and I don't want to use the got to be. So let's go ahead and get these baby hairs popping. And you're not really gonna see this baby hair. Just taking a little bit of the Garnier Fertis Sleek and Shine hairspray. I'm gonna spray that baby hair. Once again, once my baby hair is laid, just taking some hairspray. And you can tell I do have makeup on. So I am going to pat the makeup. Okay. So right now we are going to start the process of curling the wig. So I'm just taking a section. Oh, it still has to scroll from earlier. So I am taking some argan oil. This is from the Cream of Nature, the liquid gold. So right now I'm just taking larger sections, taking a hot roller, and we just wrap the hair up. Grab a clip and you're good to go. So grabbing another section, putting some more mousse, taking another big roller, and we're just going to roll the hair up. Just grabbing one of the clips. Ah, it's gonna burn. Let me not use that one. That one's like super hot. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you guys understand the process now. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this video at this time until I get closer to the front. So now that I am closer to the top of my head, I am going to take my hot rollers and the smallest one, and I'm just going to wrap the hair back. Like that. And you want the top rollers to be really tight. And if you have a lot of hot rollers, that would definitely benefit you. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure I have enough heat on my curls. Moving on to makeup. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going for more of like a dramatic look. Let's see. I'm just gonna use the same two palettes that I've been like obsessed with lately. 
So for right now, I'm gonna take my NYX, this is the eyeshadow base in the shade Nude, and I'm gonna apply this to my eyelid. And usually, I use a setting powder to blend this out and just make sure everything is not like greasy, but I'm not gonna do that today because I want my eyeshadow, I don't know why I just tapped that. <laughs> I want my eyeshadow to stick. Let's grab the first shadow. Like I said, I've been obsessed with the Jaclyn Hill. This is the Ring the Alarm palette. This palette has literally like changed my life. I am so obsessed with it. So the first brush that I'm gonna take is a Morphe cosmetic brush. And I'm going to grab the shade Mugshot right here. We're gonna use this as a transition shade. Grabbing that shade Mugshot one more time, I'm gonna do the same to my other eye. I just feel like I really need like a real good beat because I'm gonna be out for a long period of time. And to be honest, I don't know, there's like really not much to do in Colorado. I mean, of course we all have nightclubs, but you have to find like that good nightclub that you wanna go to that plays really good music. Now that I've applied that shade, I'm gonna go in with the shade Alert. Beautiful, beautiful burnt orange shade. This has been like my go-to look. I'm just blending that in with Mugshot. Let me go into my ColourPop Cute As F palette. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this white shade right here. This is actually the shade Bling. And I told you guys in my previous video that this palette didn't have names. Something's wrong with me, it does have names. And we're gonna do our brow highlight. Do you guys like me being this close to the camera? I feel like you guys are invading my privacy. Let's go ahead and talk about Mischief is right here. That's the shade I'm gonna put in my crease. You know, I'm just on a path right now. As I turn 32, I kind of just feel like I'm all over the place. And I know that may sound kind of weird for somebody who is older just saying, hey, like, I don't really have it all together. Like, I'm still trying to figure things out. I'm still trying to figure out who I am exactly and what my purpose is in life. And I feel like sometimes it takes people longer to figure that out. Some people, you know, come out the gate and they're like, I know what I wanna do with life. I know exactly what I wanna be. And right now, I'm kind of struggling with that. I'm trying to figure out my purpose. Like, what am I doing here? So, I don't know. I keep going back and forth with myself. Like, what do I want my career goals to be? And you guys already know, I love, love, love making YouTube tutorials. So I said, this birthday, I'm kind of like reflecting more. I'm gonna take my Revlon Photo Ready Setting Spray, just spraying my brush. I can spray. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up the shade. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lolly and boom in this palette. So Lolly, okay. Lolly is right here. And boom is right here. That is what it looks like. And I'm gonna put this right on my lid. Once again, spraying with some setting spray. We're gonna pick up Lolly and boom, and do the same to the other eye. Just taking my Maybelline, this is the Lasting Drama Eye Pencil in the shade Nude. And I'm gonna line my waterline really quick. I feel like I got all sad and stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm really reflecting on life now, now that I'm a year older. I feel like I always go through this, though. Remember, I'm a Scorpio. I get emotional. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take some setting powder. This is the Born This Way. And I should have did this earlier. I'm gonna spray my beauty blender. Like the, oh, wait, let me make sure which one I deal with powder. <laughs> I have to make sure I'm spraying the right one. Spray it with some setting spray, or with my powder. And I'm gonna place this right under my eye. 
I've been following, I think her name is, I think I know her Instagram name. I know it's Aaliyah, Aaliyah Face, I wanna say. But she does these cute little dots on her eyes and I'm like, girl, I'm taking that. And we're just gonna put a little bit of mascara on because we are wearing our falsies tonight. Let's move on to adding a little bit more setting powder down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to do whatever I did to the top to my lower lash line. And I can keep the setting powder there because anything, any extra fallout, I'll be able to just wipe it away. So I'm gonna go back in with the shade Mugshot from the Ring the Alarm palette. Tap off any extra. We're gonna do our waterline. And then I'm gonna go back in to the Cute As F palette from ColourPop. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Mischief. And we're gonna bring this to my lower lash line as well. There is powder flying. I am going to contour. I'm just taking my Wet n Wild contour palette. You guys have seen this in a lot of my videos. I love this powder so much. Have you guys ever been in the club and like you literally partied so hard that by the time you came out, you look like a whole nother person? Now that my makeup is pretty much complete, we can highlight, and you guys have seen this in a lot of my videos. I'm just going to spray my brush with some setting spray. We are going to highlight, because I just want to be shining. <laughs> like when I walk into the club and that strobe light like hits my the side of my face, I just want to be like <laughs> I don't know how tonight's gonna go. Doing my button nose. <laughs> Oh, yes, darling, yes. <laughs> you probably saw my real hair and everything up under here. <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna spray my face with some setting spray. <laughs> so I did go ahead and get dressed. I'm just adding my jewelry really quick. And here goes the earrings. I call these like my festive earrings. You know I'm coming when I wear these earrings. They're so loud. That's why I didn't want to put them on until I was pretty much done with the video. <laughs> I'm like, they're so loud, but they're so cute. Okay, perfect. Let me do my lips really quick. I'm just taking a lip liner. This is from BH Cosmetics. We're going to line our lips. Okay, I started out rough. You know I'm excited. I am ready to turn up. So can I go ahead and just, you know, leave like this? Is this good enough? I'm just taking Salem. This is a beautiful dark brown shade and it is matte. For some reason, I just, I love a brown lip. I love dark lips, but I love a brown lip. I'll look up this color. I know it came out of the Femrosa collection from ColourPop teaming up with Karuchi, but it's so pretty. Look at this. And I'm gonna place this. It's like a metallic shade. It got all over my retainer, like, quick. Let's take our hair down. Let's see what we working with. Oh, crap. I forgot about this. <laughs> Ooh, look at that curl, girl. Did you? Girl.
Okay, all of the curlers are out of my hair. So I do want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my tutorials. You already know, I always say I appreciate the support. It's nothing like coming on YouTube and just talking to you guys and knowing like the comments that I read are so sweet. Even on like all my social media platforms, I get so much love and I can never tell you guys how much I appreciate it. Until my next video, thank you guys for sharing this moment with me. You guys already know I miss you and I will see you soon. Bye.